Konnichiwa, this is the Shogunstein, and this is a review of the game Ion, a compound building game. She blinded me with science. It is a card game with the team of uh, compounds. Little Shogunstein, how does this work? How do these compounds work? You get an equal number of plus signs and minus signs to cancel out, making neutral atoms. Yeah. That's why I teach uh, history on my uh, side gig, my side hustle. The uh, Shogunstein was not very good at science when he was in uh, high school. And uh, chemistry was not one of my uh, better subjects. So uh, how does the chemistry work here, little Shogunstein? What are these uh, letters with the, the pluses and minuses? They are elements and compounds. Okay. As well as polyatomic. Okay, and uh, what does that mean? There are all things that you can find on the periodic table. All right. So you got the periodic table, you got elements, you got compounds. So does this game go over things you learned in your chemistry class that you're currently taking? Yes. So that's what we like about this game. We initially played an older version of this game at our friendly local game store here in uh, the Phoenix area at uh, Imperial Outpost Games. This is a newer version uh, with a couple changes to the rules. The cards are a little nicer, but it's basically the same game. Again, a couple rules change and the cards are nicer, but it is really, they did a nice job with the science theme. Again, there's a little bit out of my element. Uh, Genius Games has several games with uh, a science theme, and the game is, is fun. You know, it's a light card game. And what's also nice about it, it can go up to a fairly high player count of seven. Uh, yeah, it can go uh, up to seven players, which is nice. We played with two, and it was fine. We've played several games at two, and it's been uh, no issue at all at the lower player count. But it's nice to have a game that you can get up to, to seven. And in all seriousness, it actually does teach the, the science. And I just want to shout out another science game, Chemistry, uh, Chemistry Flux, which is a game we've played a heck of a lot of. It's another nice game where it actually uh, teaches some science, too. So we like that. As, again, I have a side hustle in education. We do enjoy games that uh, you actually learn something, and it's fun. It's a fun game. You know, it's a lighter card game. You know, if you want a, a lighter, quick card game that doesn't have a big, you know, footprint, they do have some heavier games in their, their line of games that uh, if you want something that's more of a, a Euro-style worker placement with a science theme, they certainly have that. But for a, a fun, simple card game, um, and again, it's not a complicated game here as you're trying to make the, the compounds and, and balance the, uh, the equations. Um, it plays fast, and uh, again, you know, it's nice to have something that's not uh, Vikings or... Uh, Spaceships, no offense to Star Realms, one of our uh, famous favorite games, and or uh, zombies. You know, you actually have a theme here where you're, you're having fun playing a, a game and you're, you're learning something. So this is nice because I don't really know the science anymore. It's been a long time since I've been in a science class. But Little Shogunstein is currently in chemistry, and he knew all the stuff that was here, as he mentioned in the video before. So anytime you can take a, a game... That's fun. And again, the, the elements here are fun. You know, you got your, your three bonus cards here. You got your um, cards here that you can pick from. Again, one of the nice things in this newer edition are these uh, little tiles that give you some extra powers. And they clarified some of the rules. But it's a fun game, and you're actually learning science. Just like, you know, the other day we were playing 1775, which is a very fun game, and you actually learn the American Revolution. Uh, here's a game where you actually learn science. And certainly... Uh, with uh, the way the world is going and, and what's going on in education. You know, we, we need science. We need people to, to know science. So if we can take a, a fun mechanic and, and take a, a fun game and at the same time teach science, I think this is a win-win. A so as it's getting closer to the, to the holiday season and you're looking for a, a game, maybe for a family get-together or to give as a, as a gift, I think uh, we got this on... Uh, the Black Friday sale on, on Amazon, it was like $17. So in terms of a board game, it's not that expensive. It's easy to teach. And again, at a, at a higher...
play account, you can actually bring this and get a bunch of kids to play. Or, again, if you're having a, a family night, uh, again, it's not a heavy game, so you can teach this real quick and you can get everyone playing. But, again, instead of a theme of, you know, Vikings attacking each other or surviving the zombie apocalypse here, you actually... Uh, uh, learning some, some chemistry and balancing some equations. So uh, definitely a, a win-win, and this is one we're definitely going to be keeping. And, uh, again, it is from uh, Genius Games. It is Ion, a compound building game, and uh, we like it. You know, fun, and you're actually learning at the, the same time. And, uh, you know, if you got to gamify things uh, a bit, then, then gamify things because uh, we certainly need to improve our... Uh, learning of, of science we need to improve you know we need to make science fun we need to get kids into science we need to get adults into to science if we're going to compete in this this world no offense to again my side hustle in history history is great but uh you know history is not going to uh as much as i love history it's not going to lead to the next uh apple or the next uh you know ibm or any of those big uh or tesla so uh we want to encourage you know, people to get into science. This is a fun way, fun game, and you, you're learning your elements and your periodic table and uh, balancing equations. Shogun's team out.